Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Fox Tanan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season 5, episode 18 of The Flash called Godspeed. So we start off with Barry is very, very upset with Nora and so he locked her up in the pipeline and then we cut to where Wells has been suspicious since he arrived about Nora. And so the team is very mad at him and at Nora. So, um, Dittany wants to read the journal and Barry agrees. So we're off in 2049 where we have Iris is babbling and bumping into people because she is late for work and she is a CSI. And basically, um, she's really great at her job actually. And, um, talks to, um, her friend at work, uh, Leah, and about Speedster. And so they look at the old, um, at the footage, and they saw White Lightning. Then, uh, she's also hell-bent on Cicada's case as well. And then we cut to where, uh, she goes to the Flash Museum and basically ignores her mom's call. She's been calling her all day. She's kind of just putting it off. And then we cut to where she finally calls her back, and she's in Coast City, but she's coming home for soon. Uh, then we cut, then she gets a call from work. And so Nora leaves, and um, this, there's a lead at a lab. But then Godspeed shows up and blasts Nora with a bunch of electricity and knocks her unconscious. So then we get a call back from the pilot where they play Poker Face by Lady Gaga. And we found out that Nora's okay. And then Leah called Iris. <laughs> and then the doctor found something in Nora's arm. And, um,. We don't know what it is yet. It's just some type of metal fragment. And now she has powers. And I have another pilot call back where she hits a um, laundry truck. <laughs> and we, uh, so Leah and her are talking and she agrees she's not going to tell her mom. And then um, she failed with a bank heist because there was a bank heist happening and she went to go try it out. And she failed so hard. <laughs> So she's going to go see Thon, and basically he knows that she's already a speedster. And he didn't, she didn't really get a straight answer from him about the questions and stuff. So uh, we cut to where Leah said that the tick was a power dampener. And then um, she got real mad about that. And then she got an idea. So then Gusby showed up and they fight and she lost and he offed her friend, uh, Leah. Then at the present day where Iris, um, lets, uh, so we cut to the present day where Iris lets Nora out. Then we go back to the 2049 where Nora goes off on Iris. And so she leaves and found a, uh, the guy that, who was Gusby. And the police are on the way because the chief came in and told her about that. So then she worked it out, and basically he's using Velocity 9. And goes to go see Vaughn, asks for his help, and he eventually agrees to help her. And so she got him, but then he took an extra shot of uh, Velocity 9, and then he escaped. And then, so he tries to coach her, to teach her to um, face through walls, and that didn't work. But it worked when they are running around the building, and basically he had to use this... Um, um, the satellite to basically knock out the V9 out of the guy, and it works, and she got him. Then Thon won't train her because he's, um, going soon. There's like an hour and a half timer on him. And so, um, she mentions, like, uh, he, then he mentions, like, the Flash, and says, like, you don't know a lot, do you? <laughs> uh, about the Flash. And so she goes into the secret chamber and sees a flash ring and talks to Gideon, who uh, tells her the truth about everything. And about, like, her dad was the Flash and plays a video. And that was a super, super touching moment. Now, the present day where Barry does her 101 and does not trust her and wants her to go home. And then Barry visits Thawne in the future. And now there's only like 10 minutes left where he's supposed to go bye-bye. And that's the end of the episode. Uh, crazy episode. I really, really, really like this episode. So I literally give it an A+. 
So I thoroughly enjoyed this episode and I think uh, Danielle Pennebaker directed this episode and she did a fantastic job. And overall, I just really, really enjoyed the episode overall. You can see there's a lot of callbacks from the pilot. Like the training with Fawn and uh, her waking up to Poker Face, which is like, how's that still popular song in 2049? It's, it's a great song, but still, so, okay. And then her like um, failing her first mission and literally um, flying into stuff <laughs> and messing stuff up. Uh, that was classic Barry as well. So just overall, great episode. I loved all the callbacks in here. And her like leaning on Fawn to help her out was, you know, it was crazy at first, but it's also understandable. He's like the only speedster telling her that can help her. So anyway. Big episode, really enjoyed it, and that's what I'm doing for this video. So, like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.